Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is The Heat Is On by Philip Newman. This is the gas puzzle that was posted on October 3rd, 2024. And it is a thermodiagonal Sudoku. So we're placing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And in addition to that, we have some marked diagonals in the grid. Those are the two main diagonals and digits can't repeat along those diagonals. We also have some thermometers, and along each thermometer, the digits have to increase starting from the round end and moving towards the other end. And combining those two facts gives us the break in, which is we have a length nine thermometer here, so we can write in all nine digits on it. And because digits can't repeat on the diagonals, then we need to fill in this diagonal and this thermometer with one, two, three, four, and we need to fill in this one with six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to give us the four digits remaining in the central region. So those are two, three, seven, and eight. Because of these two thermometers, these can't be two or eight. They are not close enough to the beginning. They're not close enough to the end. So those will be a three, seven pair. This can't be an eight because it is not close enough to the end of this thermometer. So that'll be my two, which makes this a one. Now, one of these has to be a seven. There are only two digits that are greater than seven. And either way, regardless of which thermometer we put the seven on, we have to place those two digits after it. Those are eight and nine. But if we put the seven here, we couldn't put eight, nine here because there's an eight right there. So that's gonna be a seven, eight, nine with a three here and a two and a one. Now let's finish off these thermometers. So the smallest digit we could place in this position would be a four. So that's a four or five, that's a five or a six, but there's a six in the row. So we know that that is a four and a five. This is four, five, six, seven, or eight. This is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, but it sees a five, a seven, an eight, and a nine already. So that's a six, making this either a four or a five, and we don't know which one it's going to be yet. Now we have four ones all looking into region two. That gives us a hidden one. We have these two fours looking into region four. That gives us a hidden four. And we have this two right here, eliminating two from these two positions, which gives us a two in region four. We now have these two ones looking into region four, eliminating these positions for one. So one has to go there. And now let's jot down some of our remaining options for the central three regions across the middle. So we need a one and an eight here. This can't be an eight, so it is a one. Here we're going to need a three, a seven, and a nine. And we can eliminate seven from that position and nine from this position. And nine from this position, so we can place a nine. Here we need a three, a six, and a seven, and that is not a three. Okay. In this column, we need two, three, four, and five to finish off. We can eliminate two from a couple of those positions, but can't be much more than that. All right, let's work on this thermometer now. So this can't be one or two because it sees those in its column. So that's three, four, five, or six, four, five, six, or seven, five, six, seven, or eight, six, seven, eight, or nine. So I noticed that this cell sees five, seven, and eight already. So that's a six. That means this is either four or five to be smaller than six, but it already sees four. So it is a five. This is gonna be three or four. This now can't be six. It can't be an eight and it can't be a nine. So it is a seven. Finishing off this column, we need three, four, seven, and nine, and this cell sees three and seven. Now, if we look at this column, um, we're going to need a one in one of these cells, and then we also need a six, a seven, and a nine to finish the column. And I'm not sure that I can make any eliminations there just yet. I have a nine here and a nine here, which places a hidden nine in this region. And so these are going to be two, three, four, and eight. That's not a three or a four. That's not a three because there's a three in the column. I need a five in one of these cells and I don't know which one it's going to be yet. That has to be three, four, five, or seven. Okay, to finish this row, I need two, five, and eight. That can't be a two and that can't be an eight. Um. I believe, ah, okay, hold on. I had something going on with like hidden twos, if I'm recalling correctly from, from testing this. 
I have solved this a number of times now. I've been struggling with it a little bit, to be honest with you guys. Um, th that column is going to be five, six, seven, eight. This row is three, four, six, and nine. These can't be nine. That can't be six. That can't be a three. So one of those has to be a three, which eliminates three from here. Oh, I know that I worked out that two has to be in one of these cells, but there was something a little bit more significant than that that I'm that I'm not quite remembering. This can't be a four because of the four here. So now, oh, I remember this. So I have a six, nine pair. That makes this a seven. And the six, nine pair eliminates six here, so I can eliminate three and four elsewhere. So that's a two, five pair, which makes this a six. These are three, four, five, and nine. And now, what else do I need? This can't be an eight because of the eight in the row. In this column, I need a one, a six, and a nine. Might as well get a little bit more precise with that. This one, I need a two, a three, a six, and an eight. That can't be a two, that can't be a three, that can't be a six, but I don't, and this also cannot be an eight. I don't think I get anything more out of that yet. This is quite a tricky one. Um, those can't be fours. And I'm sure that there are folks who are watching this who are absolutely just staring right at whatever it is that I'm missing for my next move here. I promise I did solve this already. In this column, I'm going to need two, four, five, and eight. That can't be a four. This can't be a six because there's a six in the row. Hmm. Come on, Clover. What are we not seeing here? I remember this one really like majored on hidden digits. Can't be a one there. So those are some combo of five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's not a seven, that's not an eight. And I'm just not seeing whatever it was that I was seeing when I originally solved this. Oh gosh. Oh no. Um ah, uh, here we go. There's a hidden one in the bottom right region. One can only go there, and therefore two goes there. And that's gonna resolve a lot of stuff, hopefully. It's going to place an 8 in this region, make this a 5, which eliminates 5 there, eliminates 8 there. And that's some combo of 3, 4, 5, and 9, but that cannot be a 9. And this is now 3 or 4, I can eliminate 5. And... Ooh, it's still it's still hanging in there. It's still it's still grasping on. Oh gosh, okay. Those can't be eights. That can't be a two because of the two in the row, so that's going to be a five. That makes this a seven. Did this finally crack it? I think it might have done. Let's see. That's not a seven, so the only position for seven in the column is right there. This can't be a 5 because of the 5 in the row, so that's now a 6, which makes the end of the thermometer a 9. That's a 6 and a 9. 1, 6, and 8. That's now a 2 and a 4 and a 5. And I think we should have it now. Okay. That's a five, that's a four, and a three, and a three, and a seven. And the solution is correct, thank goodness, because I did not get that pop of the first time that I tried to solve this on camera. This is a bit of a challenging one for me. Um, I did enjoy it, though. If you also enjoyed it, you want to check it out yourself, the link to solve is in the description below this video. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the puzzle, and have a fantastic rest of your day. I will catch you again in three days.